This is question number 45 of IIT JAM Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question has to say. Consider the first order difference equation. So the difference equation is given to you as xn is equal to n plus 1 by n xn minus 1 and your n obviously it's a difference equation. So n can only take discrete values. You cannot have continuous values. So n will be 1, 2, 3, and so on. x naught is given as 2. Okay. Now tell me what x1 will be. x1 will be put n equal to 1. So 1, you can write putting n equal to 1. So it will be 1 plus 1 upon 1 into x n is again 1 minus 1. So it will be 2 into x naught. But x naught is given as 2. So this will be 2 into 2 which will be 4. What will be x2? Put n equal to 2. So again see the same equation. So instead of n put 2 plus 1 by 2. And instead of again here instead of n put 2. So x2 minus 1, which will be 3 by 2 into x1. But you just found out x1 as 4. So this would be 3 by 2 into 4. This would be 6. So x2 is 6. Same, find x3, put n equal to 3. 3 plus 1 by 3 into x3 minus 1. So 4 by 3 into x2, but x2 you just found out as 6. So 4 by 3 into 6 and this will be 8. So we can see the pattern. x0 is 2, x1 is 4, x2 is 6, x3 is 8 and so on. Right? So this is just getting multiplied by 2 each time. On very similar basis, let's find out what will be x50 and x100. So x100, see when you had to find x1, actually this is 2 into 2. x2 was 2 into 3. So when you were finding x2, you were multiplying 2 with 3. When you were finding x3, you were multiplying 2 with 4. When you were finding x0, you were doing 2 into 1. So when you will find x100, you will do 2 into 101. So 202. x50 will be 2 into 51. So it will be 102. So x100 minus x50 will be 202 minus 102, which will be 100. So the answer to this question is 100. Okay, thank you.